G'day, and welcome to Duncan's Dinky Dive Down Under Fishing Adventures. And I'm your host, Duncan. Today, we're gonna go out and try and catch ourselves uh, a bloody big one. So come on with me and we'll dive on down. So today, we're gonna be using this, the Dinghy Dropper 2004. It's a 2004 because it's four feet longer than its cousin, the 2000. Now, I may hear some of you guys at home going, Duncan, why is it hot pink? Have you gone gay on us? No, hot pink is the best color to catch a fish. It doesn't matter if it's swimming near Zimbabwe, it'll go all the way to bloody China to be caught by this rod. These fish have a sense of fashion, you know. All right, so time to hook up some bait and which idiot forgot to bring the bait? Come on, guys! Bloody hell, Roger, that was your job. Sorry, sorry, it's been just so early in the morning. I need to get a drink. Oh, someone, someone get me my export. Duncan, it's 9.30. I don't care. Duncan, we've spoken to the doctor. We're very worried. It's not healthy, mate. If I don't have me export in the next five minutes, there's going to be a fracas. You're getting this export. Oh, fine. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jesus Christ. Make sure you get some nachos with it. We had a pair of nachos. We couldn't but, afford them. All right. So the main thing you gotta remember when you're casted, oh God, the, the bloody money maker, you couldn't have hit anything more valuable on the set. Those cameras, maybe worth what, 10 grand? This face, this face alone I've spent 400 million dollars on. All right, something really important to remember when you're casting out is that you always, oh Do you know what you just did? You okay. hit the most expensive thing on the Bloody set, you moron! Jesus! Alright, as you can see, when I'm when I'm reeling my catch in, there's the flashing lights on my rod. Now this is important for everyone to know why they're there. Because everyone asks me, Duncan, why have you got flashing lights on your rod? Once again, they think I've gone poof! Anyway, what they're signalling is that I've got an important catch coming up. So they make sure all the other fishermen in the area f off. Duncan, we're gonna have to do it again. The wrong backdrop loaded. Yeah, sorry about that. Where, where was I standing? I don't, it doesn't matter, we have to do it again. I mean, you go back a bit, but we've got to do it again. But, but, wait. What do you guys have here from? A train. Yeah. How is that even remotely re related to fish? How did you even get this footage it's on there? It's, 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 it's in the studio back catalogue, you know? It ends up in there. I don't care, we should so, have our own bloody catalogue. So, we have access to it and no one else does. So fish. Lots of fish. Put Finding Nemo on the back I don't care. Yeah. Another export! Alright, today we're gonna try and catch. Holy sh! Holy god, this is the most bent I've ever seen! You haven't seen something this bent since Mardi Gras last year! Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, this is. This is gonna be so. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be. Oh, it's oh, Duncan! Christ! You're gonna kill someone! It's Roger's fault, alright? Sorry, sorry. Stop. Sorry. Do you even know how to fight fish? Oh, God! Oh, don't sorry, back sorry. up! Back up! Oh, get your turn, you Alright, so now that we've caught this big sucker, we've got to gut him. And that's my favorite part. So what you gotta do is you gotta stab him! And stab him again! Until he bleeds from his eyeballs. <laughs> Just like my ex boy I mean... She's been stabbed twice because she's a cheating f who sucked the producer's ginormous cod. What are you, what don't, are you doing? Nothing. You, nothing. you might want to put that phone away, buddy. Yeah, don't. Do you know how far this could go up your spleen? So far that your nostrils will turn green with envy. Oh, no, That's in your day! Cheers for tuning in this week, guys, and next time. On the show, I'm going to show you how to dispose of all those fish for you. Don't need it.